Hey there YouTube, uh, quick update on how the system's going. I'm not uh, totally sure what I showed you last time, so I'll just do a real quick run, run through with uh, what's going on so far. So that light's very, very bright there. Um, any rate, there, here's my original drain. Uh, fish think it's time to eat again. They're crazy. Uh, here's the secondary that I added with just uh, a little bit of uh, rubber as a sealant, and it has not leaked, leaked once. So uh, that was a really great, cheap alternative. But uh, secondary drain, just to make sure that this doesn't overflow, the water level is getting really close to the top, and it was making me nervous. So uh, obviously this drain pipe, the three-quarter inch, was not big enough for the water flows I have. Um, the system on the garage will be all two to three inch drains, um, so not really worried about any sort of overflow there. At any rate, uh, that's there. Still have the secondary pump which is now on a timer. Found a $5 timer at Lowe's. So pick that up, threw that in there. Um, it does every half hour, so it does half hour every two hours. Um, pumps all the way up. Still messy with the cords. Um, to the vertical systems, uh, obviously got some scraggly looking uh, seedlings here. The reason they look like this, as far as I can tell, is because this light is so far away. This light's about 18 inches away from the surface of the, the tube here. And uh, I think they're just stretching trying to reach the light. So that's that's what happened here. Uh, this was kind of an experiment to see what would happen if we put seeds directly into these tubes to uh, sprout. Definitely not the way we're going to go in the future. But uh, again, this is a prototype, so we're seeing what's happening. Uh, if you want to see what happens to your NFT, uh, your verticals, your deep water culture, if you don't filter your water, water uh, that is what happens. So definitely want to filter your water if you're using that type of a system. Uh, the only reason uh, this isn't filtered here is simply because uh, I didn't, didn't want to have to buy a $150 pump for this little tiny system to get it up high enough for the verticals. So that's that's what's going on there. Uh, at any rate, tomatoes looking really good. Uh, the strawberry plant this is one strawberry plant it is pretty well taking up this whole half of the bed so that is uh, pretty impressive I keep thinking about moving out of here and put it in the, in the bottom of one of the towers but I don't want to risk killing it <laughs> it's doing so well uh, pepper plants doing pretty well it's like uh, it's thinking about popping out some uh, buds there this is one uh, I think it's a black seed of Simpson not really sure I didn't label anything so it makes it difficult uh, garlic and an onion experiment. Some rosemary that was doing really good and then the lettuce overgrew it. And some basil right there. So everything's running really well as far as the system is concerned. Um, uh, plants are looking great and getting huge. Um, so gives you an idea. I don't know how big my hand is, but that's pretty good. Here's a three, this is a three inch drain pipe right here. Gives you an idea how big that, that is. Um, thing that I did add, a little seedling area here. We've got two uh, one gallon jugs there. At, uh, probably twice a week I, I add in just to top off. But I uh, added these little guys in here. And just got this taller dome light right there. Probably will add a second light there. Um, and that just gives the uh, seedlings a good place to grow. So what we've got growing on, or going on, uh, spinach. We've got some flying saucer. Which these are just things that I found in uh, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever I was. Uh, crispy frills and then butterhead back there. And basically what I did, marked uh, how long the package says until harvest. And then on the front, you know, we've got the weeks marked. And uh, I also have marked when they're going to come out of the seedling tray and go into the vertical towers. So, and at the end of week three, both number one and two come out and go into the seedlings. So that would be the spinach and the flying saucer. Right now the spinach doesn't seem to be uh, sprouting too well and the flying saucers have got, you know, one out of two. Uh, these, this first row here was just planted today. So what you're seeing here is day one, one week, and two weeks old. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, so essentially the first two will, once they reach this, the end of that week, should go into the uh, vertical system uh, since those first two uh, the spinach and the flying saucer aren't sprouted I'm not messing with them this, this first round uh, at the end of week four the third one which is the um, uh, crispy frills will go in so that's that third one back and then all the way over on week seven 
the butter head will go in. And uh, so again, they're going to be part of the seedlings until they're old enough to uh, go into a four-week cycle into the vertical system and, and fully grow out. So that's uh, that's what we got going on so far. Other than that, nothing's really uh, nothing really be changed. I did add this uh, just cardboard to cover up the uh, grow bed. It's getting a lot of algae and. Uh, don't want to feed the algae, I want to feed the plants. So did that to make sure I had plenty of, of nutrients. So that's really it. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick update. Uh, plans for the garage system, we're moving right along. And uh, we actually are going to attempt a Kickstarter campaign, which we're hoping to uh, get going in October. Um, either way, we're building the system. We actually already spoke with uh, a couple different um, uh, uh, farmers markets to see where we want to start selling next spring. They're all very excited. Uh, they want to have the veggies and the fish in there, and, and they're they're ready for us now. So uh, we're excited to uh, to get started. So either way, we'll have the system built. Uh, we are going to try to kickstart our campaign. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in uh, helping us out. And uh, if not, hope you're enjoying the videos, and we'll be talking soon. Thanks. Have a great one. Bye.